Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I am on the shore of beautiful Kentucky Lake down here in Murray, Kentucky. Just wrapped up the MLF high school fishing camp. Uh, we had about 200 kids that came down to learn from myself as well as a bunch of the other top touring pros like my buddy Miles Berghoff who is on the camera as well as guys like Josh Bertrand, Bobby Lane, Matt Becker, Joey Cifuentes, a whole bunch of guys. I'm forgetting a bunch of guys. Bill McDonald. A, Bill McDonald. Had Terry a, Bolton. Terry Bolton. All those guys. So there were a bunch of guys here, and we were trying to relay all of our knowledge to the kids, and I think they had a really good time. There's still a tournament tomorrow, uh, so we'll see if some of the kids catch a few extra fish. But I'll tell you what, guys. Yesterday, Miles and I were able to get out on the water for a couple hours after the first day of sessions, and we bumped around and hit some spots offshore and others like the riprap over there on the bridge. And it was a question that we got during the camp was what do you fish? What lures do you fish when fishing riprap? And it's a really good question because riprap is not like fishing other rock. Uh, riprap is obviously a man-made structure and it can be made of multiple different types of rock, but it's generally really, really jagged, got a lot of cracks in it and can be extremely difficult to fish. Uh, I myself have lost hundreds of dollars of tackle to riprap banks over the years. So it was a really good question and we addressed it and we had good discussion amongst the kids as to what baits work the best. And we came up with four really good ones. So that's what we're gonna talk about today are the four baits. Uh, the first one I'm gonna start with is a topwater like this Berkeley Bullet Pop, an absolutely fantastic bait for fishing riprap. Now it doesn't have to be a popper like the bullet pop. You can throw other walking style baits, a buzz bait, but a topwater bait is really good for a couple of reasons. First, obviously it's snag resistant. You know, as long as you don't make some crazy cast where you throw up into the rocks, you're not gonna get stuck on something. So a topwater works great. But the other key here is a lot of times when you're fishing riprap, you do not have much water between the riprap and the surface. So therefore, if you're fishing the top of the water column, you're gonna be all right in terms of keeping your bait in the strike zone. So if you've got riprap that comes out to three feet of water, the majority of those fish are gonna be in three feet of water or less. So by bringing a bait like the bullet pop over the top, you're gonna get those fish to come up. Now I will say if you're fishing riprap that's at a straight 45 degree angle, sometimes top water may not be the right choice because you could be three feet off the bank and in five feet of water. So you don't really wanna do that if you're fishing really steep riprap. But if you are fishing that type of riprap, then the class came up with a jig, a larger profile jig, but one that's got a light head. You know, you might want to put a bigger, bulkier trailer on this so that you get a much slower fall. The idea being that if you have a full skirt, a bulky trailer, when that bait gets down to the bottom, it's not going to fall right down into the cracks. It's going to sit on top and therefore you're not going to get snagged that much. A jig is a great bait for generating those bites. And on a riprap section where you're trying to mimic a crayfish because that's one of the primary forages on riprap, you can't beat a jig. But the key here is a lighter, bigger profile jig with a big trailer because that'll keep the bait from getting snagged. You go too heavy, you get more snags. Next up, guys, you gotta throw a square bill. This is one that I actually found fishing the riprap yesterday. It's a H2O, so somebody else was thinking square bill as well. This was probably one of the top choices by the kids in the class. The idea being that a square bill works great because of the lip on it where you've got good squared off lip, which allows for deflection. So if you're fishing rock, you're coming through shallow water, that lip is made to deflect off a rock and shoot to the side. If you had a rounded off lip, it's made to continue to dive down, which is gonna dive into the rocks and lead to more snags. So a square bill crankbait will deflect shooting off of those objects that are normally gonna get stuck. This is a great way to generate strikes. Generally fishing again from the, sh from the shore out to about four or five feet, that's where your square, square bills really work the best. The last choice, and it's a good one that I agree with again with the class, is a spinner bait. 
Now, generally speaking, I'm gonna go with a, a double willow leaf spinner bait like this because I want a bait that I can move quickly along the rocks. But the key here is anytime you're fishing riprap, you're probably fishing somewhere that there's a lot of shad. You know, if you've got a riprap, like in this case on this bridge, that riprap dike runs all the way out halfway into the river, basically to the main channel. Well, if you're near the main channel, especially the majority of the, the times of the year, what that means is you're close to bait fish. You've got current that is hitting that, that rock wall and running back to the bridge so it can squeeze through the bridge. And that'll, that means you're gonna have a lot of forage, you're gonna have current, and you're gonna have a lot of bait fish. And that's where there's gonna be a lot of bass. So a spinner bait is really good at mimicking that forage and the shad or whatever it is that you have in that lake that's swimming around that they're eating on but it's also going to be very snag resistant you know you can keep it at whatever water or uh, level in the water column that you want and therefore it's snag resistant but it's going to generate a lot of strikes so guys the class is spoken one of those four baits is what's going to help you catch more bass when fishing riprap and riprap is a great way to generate strikes all year long. Does not have to be an early spring thing, doesn't have to be summer or fall. Fish are always using riprap. So give one of these baits a try. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the channel, hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned, another video coming out tomorrow.